So I get to spend part of my day with Zane Erickson, North Star Ag out of Tower City. So I drive by Tower City a lot. How long have you guys been in business over there, Zane? About 15 years. Uh, we started in October of 2009. And if I saw it right, there's a sign around here somewhere that says largest inventory in the upper Midwest. Yep, yep. We have a ton of inventory. Uh, we try to have one of everything to have what the guys need when they need it. So what are some of the things that we can look at today? Let's look around. The Thunder Creek Field Trailer. Okay. This model here is an FST 990 with the signature package. Um, it comes standard with electric jack. So, okay, let's look at right, all of these things right away. The electric, electric jack, jack is right here. Yep. So it's okay. Up, down, super slick for hooking and on hooking in harvest time. Yep. Comes with 100 gallons of def, oh, which is wait. a self filling self-filling def system. So we're saving the planet one plastic jug at a time, yep. but instead let's just put it in 100 gallons. I like that. <laughs> yep, exactly. So what's unique about the Thunder Creek is it's self-filling. So this is your, I call it my keg tap. Or yeah. Whatever. That goes on your tote. You pull out the deal, hook it up. Oh, I see. And then you're gonna hit tank fill. Yep. And then it's gonna fill the tank. Oh, very nice. So pretty slick. Okay. Plus everything's on hoses, so you can, re or reels, you can take her back in. Correct, yep. They come with uh, 35 foot hose reels. Okay. Uh, standard on both, both the DEF and the diesel. All right. Um, another option that we like to show is the five door toolbox. Um, currently they have a promo going on. Um, every signature package, you get a free toolbox. I like the locking drawers. Uh, yeah, so they're, it's a commercial grade uh, toolbox. So four years from now, you know, the slides are still working. <laughs> They're not all pounded, That's pounded huge. out type of deal. Okay. Um, next we got the 40 gallon minute fuel, uh, fuel pump or whatever. Yep. Um, comes with 35 gallon or 35 foot hose reel. So this is its own compartment. So it kind of keeps the diesel mess off on its own. How much diesel can you pump? Like per minute? Uh, 40 gallons a minute. So it fills a combine in about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on what you're doing. That's a fast operation. Yeah, it really speeds exactly. it up or whatever. Yep. So the biggest selling point about a fuel trailer is speed yes. and then having all your tools and everything with you. And this one here is a service trailer. Okay, so you've got fuel and service on it. Yep. But here's the thing that I really like, and that would be this light. Yep. We're all pushing the hours that we're out there. For sure. So the it's a light tower that's self-contained. Okay. Um, so you fold it up and you have it illuminates the the area that you're servicing. What it's really what I tell guys it's really nice in like corn when we're combining late in the year. Yes. It's dark early. It's dark um, late in the morning. Uh, so it's, you're constantly servicing in the in the dark. Or or, or sunflowers if you're a sunflower girl. Yep. And yep. I have yet to find a sugar beet grower that doesn't ever have a shift in the dark. Yep. Too. So I'm looking at all our commodities. Now. Exactly. Okay. So the next thing is 14 ply tires standard with aluminum rims. Okay. Um, that's standard on everything. So it's kind of nice with the 14 ply, oh. the longer longevity of the tires. We're, when we're trading them in, we're not having to replace tires. Yes. And, and customers, you know, really like it. Oh, that's awesome because nobody wants a fuel yeah. tank full with a and a flat tire, tire on yep. it. Last things on the back end of yeah. the trailer. So this is a service trailer. It's got a compressor generator. Um, it's got a 16 CFM compressor. Um, it's got a, a generator that goes along with it. Um, it also has a two drawer toolbox below the compressor. Yep. Um, and a five drawer as well, as long as, you, as well as the cannon tall holder. Okay. Um, a couple things that this trailer is missing that we could also add is a, uh, a vise and a bench. Um, so it pulls out, it sits right here. Yeah. Pulls out and then you have a workable bench. That is actually pretty awesome. I mean, yeah. the whole idea of being able to take the workbench and the vise with is excellent. They're slick, they're really slick. So it comes with 30 foot hose reels, both on the electrical and the air. The compressor comes with enough CFM to blow off a combine or do- Oh good, so whether we're in bean harvest, sunflowers, that yep. type of thing, so we can take all the dust off. Yep, exactly. Nice. All right, so is this going to replace a service truck versus what most folks are already using? Yeah, I would say so. So what's nice about a field trailer is everybody has a pickup. Everybody has a nice pickup. Um, so the nice thing about a service trailer is you can unhook when you're done. Right. So instead of having a service truck that's always got the tools and always, you know, you can't hardly drive it to town because it's so big and clunky. Where now you can have your nice pickup, hook up to the service trailer and go out and um, service the combine or whatever you're doing in the field. I like that a lot. Tell me about 
the size of your service area. You're moving a lot of equipment here. Yeah, so we cover all of North Dakota, Western Minnesota, and Northern South Dakota. And we do get a little bit into Montana as well. Oh, I bet you do, especially with those tr fuel trailers, yep. because I see the size of the farms out there and how far they have to go with equipment. Yep, absolutely. Okay. All right, so this is the Amazon. They're kind of the new great thing in fertilizer spreaders. Yep. Why? So Amazon is a German, a German made spreader. Um, so the European has um, a lot more regulations than we do in America. Yeah, they do. Um, so that what that t brings is technology to the table. Um, so this spreader has the ability to go to 178 feet. For a spread pattern. For a spread pattern. Okay. 120-ish um, on the urea. Okay. Um, it has section control up to 128 sections. Oh, wow. It's got wind control up to 22 miles an hour. All right. Meaning if you have a crosswind, it'll adjust the yep. spread pattern. It's going to adjust it so your pattern stays consistent because you don't want that pattern to Correct. fly apart, literally, yep. with high wind. You have um, what they call the auger system, which is a radar sensing system that uh, makes the spreader dynamic and it constantly is changing your spread pattern throughout the day as, as conditions change. When you say radar system, you're talking about these items right here? Yep, so there's seven per side. Okay. Um, and what it's reading is how the, how the spreader is throwing it. Yep. And it constantly is adjusting the spread pattern on the fly. Keeping it consistent every time. Yep, so it's the only dynamic uh, spinner spreader on the market today. What's your capacity in the tank? For? So urea is 10 ton and uh, P and K is 12 ton. Excellent. Okay, so as far as re refilling, you've got a fair amount of capacity. To Correct. Yep. Yep. So what's really nice about these Amazon spreaders, uh, North American spinner spreader, when you do a catch test, the industry standard is the variance is 10 to 20%. Right. Uh, these are 1 to 2%. That's so they, really keeping it tight. Yeah, the accuracy is tremendous on them. Um, what, one of the things that you mentioned as well is when you're talking European design, these fit the roadway. And that's actually becoming more and more of a concern safety options. And that's a really good one with this machine. Yep. Yep, they do a couple of things. So the, obviously, obviously the narrow width, they also have, they run at a five degree angle, the belt does. Yes. So it keeps the product towards the front and it doesn't get light on the hitch. Right, so you've always got that constant weight. Yep. Okay, so that's So it doesn't excellent. go banging and clanging down the field. Right. So one of the things that's quite a bit different than a North American spinner spreader is how the the spreader catches the fertilizer. Uh -huh. So North American spinner spreader comes off the belt, it hits a di divider, and then it hits the it hits the pan, and then it comes around and it hits it like a baseball bat. Right. Um, so that's where you lose your accuracy. Where these actually have holes in the pan, so nothing ever touches the pan. So it's catching the fertilizer as it flings it. Um, so it flings it this way. Yep. And uh, that's where you get your accuracy because it's throwing oh, it, not hitting it. I see what you're doing with it. Okay. And how it how it does the wind control, how it does the section control, how it does all the stuff, is it changes the drop point yep. where it hits the the deflectors. Type okay. Deal. Um, so it, it, that's where it gets its its accuracy. Um, another thing that it has the ability to do on your outside fertilizer pass is border control. Yep. Um, so obviously, so this has a 100% overlap, so the, the spread pattern is a perfect triangle. Um, so obviously on your outside pass, you need to have some sort of border control to get a full amount of fertilizer towards the edge. So that's done right here, where um, underneath it, it flips this deflector out, so it, the fertilizer comes out this way. Right. Um, so what it does then, instead of being a triangle, it's more like a square on this side, um, and it makes a nice corner. Um, and it's really, it's really something to watch when you do hit it. You can just see the, the, the spread pattern goes out change. The yeah. Yes, it's almost unreal. Like, how does it do that type <laughs> of deal? So after all this time with North Star Ag, how do people find you, Zane? So we're right off the exit on the south side of, of exit 307 and Tower City exit or you can call us at 701-361-4790 or northstar-ag.com.